the Catholic Church going back decades. Let's see if we can now hear properly from the journalist Hendro uh, Musterman, who's on the line from Rome. Sir, I hope you can hear us a little better this time around. Um, I was asking you earlier whether you think anything tangible will actually come out from this conference uh, this week. So to be to be very honest, this, this bishops' conference is divided on this issue. There is a lot of tension inside the bishops' conference. So it's difficult to say what will come out until next Monday, because they will they will talk about this issue and also about other issues until next Monday. What we see that there are two things on the table. The first thing on the table is, of course, what should these bishops, what, the, what should the Catholic Church in France do with the victims? Would there be any financial compensation for abuse? So this is a big question that's on the table, and we don't know what what they will decide. There might be even not a decision now. They might even say that there will be a study group or something. Um, this, this is one of the, the, the biggest questions. But another question that is much more um, dividing between the bishops is what to do about the structural problems that have to do with this sexual abuse. Because for the first time in history, we have now an independent report where all the structural problems in the Catholic Church have been shown. And this is a huge problem for these bishops. And, and, and these, these questions can not only be handled in Paris or in France. These are also questions that have to, have to be handled with the Vatican. So this, um, I'm not sure that at the end of this week we will have clear results of the things. There will be symbolic things. There, there will are... be a memorial in Lourdes for the victims. But, but clear results, I don't expect it for, until the end of this, but this week. But clearly the there is week. pressure, is isn't there, sir, yeah. for action at this yeah. time? Um, you know, for, for many years now, the Catholic Church has come under criticism over this issue, but now we have a document highlighting the sheer scale of the abuse and, as you say, the cover-up as well. Um, what's yeah. your sense of what the response has been from the Catholic community in France? Do people feel let down by the clergy? So for the, I think this is completely new. This is a new situation. The bishops are uh, confronted with their own um, believers, with their own Catholic members of the Catholic Church that don't trust them anymore. You know? Last week, last week the, in, in the French uh, Catholic newspaper, La Croix, uh, we saw numbers that, that 85 percent, uh, 66 percent, two-thirds of the Catholic population in France doesn't trust their own church when it is about protecting minors. This is, this is incredible. 85% of the French people want changes. A 90% want more power for women and want to, the power of the bishops to be shared. 90% wants shifts in sexual uh, morality and the sexual doctrine of the Catholic Church. So th that means that these bishops, they don't have a, they're, not even, they're not even trusted anymore by their own people. But I suppose so the question, forgive problem. me for cutting across you, is do the bishops okay. want that change? How much tension is there now within the church between reforming elements and between more conservative voices? So this is the, the real question. We know, we know that the bishops, they said to each other that nobody of them will talk to the press until the end of this conference. So we will not have insight in how the discussion will go. There is no transparency on this. But we know that se several bishops, the more conservative bishops, are not willing to share power with lay people that could help the bishops to be more objective and more neutral when it is about uh, cases of sexual abuse. Yeah? Others are very willing to, to open things up and think more into the lines of Pope Francis. So it is really to expect to see what is coming out of this discussion inside this bishop conference with 90 bishops, 90 dioceses in France, and where we don't really know uh, how, the, how the things will get out at the end of this week. Let me ask you uh, finally, sir, about one issue that's been attracting a lot of attention here in France, and that is the question of what priests should do when they hear crimes, potential crimes, during confession and whether or not they should report that to the police. Um, might we expect any ruling on that during the conference this week? Because surely there's a lot of concern that on this issue the French church perceives itself above the law. Yeah, this is a, this is a de very delicate question for everybody, for the, for the state who accepts religious freedom. Religious freedom is part of the, of the, of the Declaration of Human Rights also. And on the other side, it's also difficult for the, for the French bishops. Um, the, the, the seal of confession is, is total in the Catholic Church. Yeah? The problem is this, the French bishops cannot change this. This is a, this is a universal church law. They cannot do anything about this. Yeah? A priest who doesn't respect the seal of confession is even excommunicated immediately.
So what they could do, and this is the thing that the Vatican really should uh, react on, is helping their priests to, 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 to handle this, these, these questions in a, in a better way. There is no ruling on this today. A priest that hears about uh, abuse of a minor in confession, there is no ruling on, from the side of the Catholic Church on this today. So even if we, even if we would respect the seal of confession, uh, we would also expect that the Catholic Church is more clear on this, on, on this topic and that they send the priest uh, in, a, in, a, in a more aware way of, the, of, of, the, of this question into the confession chair. And this is not, a, not the case today. So I expect that the French bishop will, will say, this is a problem this has, can only be handled at the level of the Vatican. And then the Vatican will have to, ha- will have to act or to answer. Hendro Munzman talking to us there from Rome uh, at the opening of that Bishop's Conference. Thanks very much indeed for your analysis and we will, of course, uh, be watching that, bring you any news that comes out of the conference uh, during uh, the week.